Oh, great drive. It's Jeff and Brian here back at Stonewall, and today we're going to go over a few course etiquette and course maintenance tips that may help you and everyone else on the golf course. Two hundred and eighty yards down the middle, into the wind. Oh, the dreaded divot. All right, folks, we're going to talk a little bit about divots here. Uh, what we're trying to avoid is this to happen. Uh, and I think if we all take our part in replacing divots, we can try to avoid this altogether. So we have a couple different options. Whenever we have a divot, such as the divot here, that still has a lot of sod in it, a lot of, you know, something where you can tap it back down with a lot of dirt still in it, you're going to want to replace that divot when you're done. Okay, try to fill it the same direction it was before and let's tap it in pretty firmly, okay? We have another option to where the divot is more of a poofy divot with just the grass popped out of the ground. That's where we're going to use our sand bottles. We're not just going to sprinkle a tiny bit of sand in there and hope for it to grow. We need to fill that divot right to the top of the ground and level it off, okay? So now that if our ball lands in there, we're level with the rest of the ground here and we can actually hit that shot without too much problem. All right, we're here on the green and we're gonna go over how to properly fix a ball mark. What you really wanna do is take that ball mark around the edges and pull it in to the middle, okay? And once you get it all the way around, you tap it down with your putter or a, a foot, okay? And once again, we're going around the edges, pulling the edges in, tapping down. Two days from now, you won't even know that that was there. Brian, it's your turn. Oh, shoot, sorry. Just give us one a quick, uh, quick read. All right, folks, here's a typical case of someone not ready to putt. Brian is on his phone. Be ready, to know when it's your turn. Be ready to putt, know your line, have your ball down. Him having his ball down right there didn't bother me at all when I was over there. So he could have had his ball down and ready to putt. Put a mark on that. Uh, actually, I'll finish. A good putt. Now what Brian did there, folks, is what we call continuous putting. Brian had, let's say, a 20-foot putt. He putted his first one. Wasn't quite sure he wanted to mark it or not, but he continuous putted. He putted until his ball was in the hole. There's one more example on how we can all pick up our pace just a little bit. Uh, we don't need to mark it. He wasn't going to be stepping in my line or anybody else's line, and he felt comfortable with just putting that one in. You know, there's only one other way to speed up play. Remember folks, we're not trying to set any speed records here. We're trying to have you enjoy your day at a pace that will allow everyone to enjoy their day as well. And you just may get to the 19th hole a little bit quicker. <laughs>